coming at you from Soap Opera Spy, your number one source for daytime soap spoilers, updates, and more. Hi General Hospital fans, it's AM from Soap Opera Spy with all your hot soap news. Before we get started with your General Hospital spoilers, please press the subscribe button below and turn on notifications to make sure you never miss a video from us. Hey GH fans, we have your this week GH weekly promo and let me tell you it's really exciting. You're going to want to be tuning into GH all week. We're going to see devastation, extreme horror, total disbelief and depraved actions. So let's talk about how it all goes down. General Hospital spoilers for the week of Monday, July 17th to Friday, July 21st tease devastation, horror, and disbelief. Curtis Ashford fights for his life as his family worries. Remember, Curtis got shot. He wasn't the target, but he happened to have gotten shot at the Metro Court pool, and he's in critical condition. Now, rumors are saying that Curtis is going to end up being paralyzed. And this is a pretty predictable uh, storyline for any soap. Generally, somebody gets shot, they get paralyzed, they push everybody away in their life, and then they walk again. And it, generally what it happens is their wife or their girlfriend sees someone else and they get upset. So same old, same old really here. Um, so as Curtis continues to fight for his life after surgery, Trina Robinson will beg her mother to tell her all will be okay. Well, of course, Portia has no idea if that's going to be the case. Of course, Spencer Cassadine will be at Trina's side as they check in on Curtis's condition. And we know Portia really won't be happy with that because she doesn't want Spencer anywhere near Trina. It's an emotional situation all around as TJ Ashford, who assisted in Curtis's delicate surgery to remove a bullet next to his spine, weeps in Portia's arms. Portia weeps as well as she and TJ attempt to comfort one another outside Curtis's room where he's hooked up to life support. But as all the devastation of his loved ones takes place outside his room, there's a glimmer of hope as Curtis moves a single finger. Now, Sasha continues to unravel with the depraved help of Dr. Montague and Gladys, with Montague telling Gladys she did his part, now he'll do his. Now, one has the question, what is wrong with Dr. Montague? He is a doctor because he works at GH, but why would he do what he's doing? Presumably, he met Gladys at the poker games. He has a poker problem, but why would he go so far? He's risking his medical license, so it really makes no sense that he's really doing this. I imagine that this storyline will start to play out in the future, but at this point, there's really not a hint of what Dr. Montague is up to or why he's doing it and what his motivation is. The combination of drugs that Montague has Sasha on is doing its work, and now she's becoming unstable and paranoid poolside. She's talking to Maxie Jones. Maxie notices something is very wrong and asks Sasha. Sasha all of a sudden appears to hallucinate and backs herself up against a wall and suddenly grabs something sharp and lunges at Maxie. A loud no is heard from Maxie, and suddenly Gladys appears to comfort a horrified Sasha, who is crying, oh my God, as she realizes what she did. Now, let's talk about Gladys. Seriously, that woman has gone from being a busybody to just as evil as anyone else on the show. And when it all comes out as to what she did, Gladys will no longer be in Port Charles and will probably end up in jail. Now, it appears that Maxie is the person that was stabbed by Sasha, who was obviously seeing something else other than a reality flashback of Brandon Corbin's murder, perhaps. Nevertheless, whatever it was, it wasn't Sasha doing it. It was the drugs that she was on. Elsewhere, Sam McCall gets a call and appears to be in disbelief of what she is hearing. She's been working with Max Scorpio on a sting, but the stabbing of Max's stepdaughter certainly will take precedence over trying to take down Selena Wu without taking Cody down with her. Felicia Scorpio is in Pine Valley, Pennsylvania with Lucy Coe, while her daughter is at home in trouble. Sam could be talking to either Dante, Mac, or her mother or one of her sisters, as it seems Sam's going to have a very busy week this week on GH. Nina Rees will rush to GH by the end of the week, 
And that could have to do with Sasha being brought in as well as Maxie. GH is trying to set up an exit story for Sophie Matson because she's going on maternity leave. So that could mean that Sasha Gilmore will be going in a coma for a couple of months. It looks like this week on GH is going to be a don't miss week. So stay tuned and be sure to catch up on everything happening with GH right now. Stick with us for all the up-to-date sizzling GH spoilers. Make us your top general hospital source by pressing that subscribe button. Turn on notifications and if you like our video, give us a like by pressing the like button. See you next time.